So if you're trying to get to Legend from Diamond 5, or really anywhere from Diamond 5 up to Legend, um, the good news is you're already good enough at Hearthstone to be able to hit Legend. Um, you have the skill that it takes, you likely have the cards and the decks that you're going to need to be able to get there. Uh, at this point, it's just a grind. And, you know, you probably feel like you're banging your head against the wall. Um, that's going to happen. I think that probably happens to everybody. And it even happens to people who have hit Legend before. If you're only on like a 10-star bonus, it does get kind of grindy down there towards the end. And it really starts to take a toll on you mentally. And so uh, one of the important things is to just make sure that you have a positive mental outlook going forward. Um, try to really have confidence in yourself. If you've made it to Diamond 5, it means you're playing well. Um, you know how to play Hearthstone at a decent level. And, um, and you're really close to getting there. So you're going to get discouraged. It's going to happen. Um, just don't let that affect you too much mentally. Just like when you're working towards anything else, there's always going to be setbacks um, when you're trying to reach a goal, really in anything in your life. And how you respond to those setbacks is going to determine you know, how quickly or even if you're going to experience success in what you're trying to do. So um, first key that I'd like to point out is have realistic expectations in trying to get the legend. Um, it's unlikely that you're going to have a 10 or 12 game win streak to be able to get to Legends. That's not reasonable. That's an unrealistic expectation. It is realistic to expect to lose and possibly even have losing streaks. I mean, I couldn't tell you how many times I've gotten up to Diamond 2 or Diamond 1, hit a losing streak, and gone all the way back down to Diamond 4 or Diamond 5. It's going to happen. It's kind of the nature of Hearthstone, and you can expect it. Um, it's also reasonable that your opponent is going to high roll you from time to time. They're going to top deck lethal. Um, potentially, you're going to draw poorly. Uh, you're going to play 100% correct, and you may just not be rewarded for it. That's the nature of collectible card games. It's going to happen. So you can expect that these bad things are going to happen, um, and really just try to fortify your mind. You know, I know that I'm going to get high rolled. I know that I'm going to draw poorly. And then when it happens, um, if you're expecting it, it's not going to bother you as much. You know, don't let it tilt you. Um, you can expect to lose games. And whether you win or lose individual games isn't super, super important. I mean, you're not playing for a world championship. You're not playing for cash. Um, it's just one game. So if you lose one game, or even if you lose a series of three games, four games, five games, it doesn't really matter. Other than it's just going to take you a little bit longer to hit your goal. But you're going to hit your goal. Um, the next key that I'd like to point out is pick a good deck. You need to make sure that you're playing a good deck. Don't be playing some hipster deck um, that you came up with on your own if you're trying to hit Legend for the first time. Don't play some kind of a tournament deck, like if you just saw a deck that was played in the last Masters Tour tournament. Um, a lot of times those tournament decks, you know, it's not so much a deck as it is a lineup. They're targeting um, other specific lineups or even a specific deck. The tech cards may not be applicable to ladder. So if you, you know, try to pick up a tournament deck and play it, you know, it's possible that it just totally fails on ladder. There's such a thing as good tournament decks, but bad ladder decks. Also, um, don't let yourself be baited by decks that you see on Twitter. Um, sometimes those decks are just totally fake. I think um, at times, you know, people will post a deck with a screenshot and it's just not true. And it's, you know, potentially that person just making a joke, trying to have some fun with the community. Um, so don't let yourself get baited by decks on Twitter. Yes, sometimes the decks can be really good, but sometimes they're bait. And if you don't really know how to tell the difference, then don't take the chance. Um, you want to give yourself the best possible opportunity to have the best possible win rate so that you have the shortest climb to legend. So what I would recommend is um, get a tested and proven deck. Uh, ViciousSyndicate.com, HSReplay.net, um, pick a deck that's been played a lot, a deck that has a lot of stats to back up the fact that it's a good deck, and play that deck. Another thing that I would personally recommend, not everybody's going to uh, prefer this, I recommend playing faster decks, which likely is going to mean aggro decks. 
but decks like uh, Hunter, Shadow Priest, um, Aggro Druid, they're going to have a shorter average game time, which means you're going to be able to play more games in your play session. So the biggest limiting resource that anybody has is time, how much time you spend playing the game. So if you only have an hour a day or two hours a day to play the game, as long as your win rate is above 50%, you're going to get to Legend. But it's just a matter of playing the right amount of games. And so being able to play faster games is going to enable you to play more games, which is going to enable you to be able to rank up faster. And that's just a preference thing um, that I would point out. You don't have to do it like that. But if you're playing 15 to 17 minute games versus, you know, six minutes, seven minutes, eight minute games, there's going to be a big difference if you're able to play, you know, two games versus just one game in the same amount of time. Um, and the biggest final tip that I would have is just push the play button. You're never going to get there unless you actually get in the game and play. Um, you're going to be discouraged. That's guaranteed to happen. You're going to go from, you know, some high highs. Oh, I'm winning. I'm making progress. I'm getting close. Likely you're going to have some low lows. Oh, I lost a couple of games in a row. I was almost there and now I've lost several games or, you know, I hit a period of variance and now my win rate is like 30%. I'm losing ranks. That stuff's going to happen. But you're never going to be able to get there if you don't hit the play button. So just remember, you're good enough to do it. Have realistic expectations going into it. Pick a good deck and then just keep smashing that play button. So from here, I'm going to turn you loose on the ladder. I uh, also want to say good luck. And if you hit legend for the first time, be sure to let me know in the comments.